Welcome to the Best Damn Book Club on the internet. My name's Ryan Talmadge, that's Davis Crocker, and this is 2H Reading Comics, and today, Davis, go ahead and tell them where they can find us, tell them what we're reading, let's get into it. As always, tell your friends, your family, anyone who wants to listen to Two Idiots Talk About Comics, uh, this week's episode 192, and we're going to talk about Superman Action Comics Warlord, War World, Volume 2. Uh, you can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcast. And as always, let's get into it. Yep. Uh, and me personally, I am just excited that Davis finally hung up his birthday present behind him Woo-hoo! from like a year and a half ago, two <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Yeah, and the uh, the Boba Fett is uh, is on the other wall. The fact that y'all are turning y'all's guests bedroom into a star wars room is kind of funny well it's gonna be a it's gonna end up being a star wars slash disney room uh so i mean i mean i well it's gonna be star wars comics disney i mean it's just everything room yeah um i mean we've got i've got three sabers i need to put up i mean if i ever if i can ever get a paycheck that i ain't got a lose 90 percent of it uh to various things i might can actually start buying some shit i want yeah so or if i'm on buy me something personal just knowing your mom though and the first time she stays there she's gonna voice oh. her opinion oh oh people are gonna hate it if, if you're yeah. not like one of us you're gonna you're you're gonna hate it mm-hmm. so i mean it, it's it's an aesthetic choice that we're actually both agreed on. I cannot get rid of this right here. What? This this little little dangly down, dangly. No one would notice it until you. Oh yeah, trust I me. I'm like going out. through a, a mustache crisis right now. So, <laughs> are you trying to grow it out or what? No, it's just it's not good enough to, or it's not bad enough to shave off. Not good enough to be proud of. So, yeah, true. Um, <clears throat> but. Unfortunately, we did have to go on the computer this uh, month. I had some life stuff come up over with me. Um, Hopefully, we'll be back next month, though. Um, I don't know if you've already looked. Next month is a five Tuesday month. Ouch. Yeah. Of course it is. Don't sound too negative. Yeah, because... Yeah, because uh, <clears throat> that gets me uh, five paychecks. Five three paychecks? paychecks? Not five. No. Three paychecks. Mine's yeah, the next month. Next month. Month of May, yeah. I get three. So, that's... Oh, never mind. I got you. Yes, when we record for April, that's five Tuesdays, but in March, I get three paychecks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, because we're technically recording for March right now. Yeah, yeah we're recording it's, for March right um... now. <laughs> As of recording, today is February 24th. Yeah. Um, Shane Gillis is hosting SNL tonight. Uh, no very shit. excited for I that. Thought I, saw, I thought I saw that, but I didn't think it was real. I mean, yeah. I, I thought he was doing one of his blooper things. Then the oh, no. the the black guy from um, Good Burger, the bigger guy. I always forget oh, his Kenan. name. And he did all that. Keenan. Yeah. He was there. And I was like, oh, no, it's actually, actually real. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I'm surprised the show they, he got I, fired I, from after never even being on an episode. Yeah, because of yeah. a podcast clip. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I can't believe they let him on. I can. That show's not funny anymore. <laughs> oh no, no, no! It's not funny anymore. But I thought just how like NBC is just so political. Yeah, like I just didn't think they would they would just they would even allow him to be mm. on the on the show just because of his. The views that he uh, expresses compared to their takes yeah. on life. Uh, and that's, about, that's about as boilerplate easy to say without taking too many sides, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's just because, like, I mean, it was pretty decent and or pretty good while Will Ferrell was there in, like, the early 2000s. Um, well, yeah, but I mean. I was, like, too young to be watching it then. Yeah. But, well, like. It, it, I guess I had never like intended to watch one live before. I my mm-hmm. idiot self thought it started at like nine o'clock. No, it's, that shit it's starts like, at ten thirty Central Time. Yeah, Central Time. Like, yeah, it's 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 a midnight show. It's it's kind of like the trope of 
Like, I think that's like what started the late night TV show, like the late night show. Well, those start at like eight o'clock. Yeah, but then there's the late time. show, then there's the late, late and then show. later, yeah. And, yeah. Um, but no, so uh, no, I have a second record just in case we go long. The the first ones I remember actually like like sitting down and watching live was when Amy Schumer and um uh the the blonde girl from the office uh not the office uh Parks and Recs. Oh. Um, that's not Amy Schumer. Uh, I was gonna say that's not Amy Schumer, that's Tina Fey and uh Tina Fey. I can't remember yeah. Oh, well, they were man. always Hillary and uh what's the Republican lady from Alaska? Amy Pol Amy Poehler. Yeah. Yeah. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. I remember watching them, their duo, and I remember it being really good. Mm. But like kind of just like their stuff. Yeah. Um and then after that, I mean I I mean I may have watched like uh pieces of a season. Yeah. So um yeah, no. Uh so yeah. Uh we got an hour till that comes on. Probably just have to watch yeah. the recording in the morning because I don't feel like staying up staying up that late anyways. What do you have a recording on? YouTube TV. Oh your YouTube TV. Comes oh, okay. with the DVR. I was about to say I was about to say I can just I'll just get on Peacock in the morning and watch it if I want uh, to. Yeah. Peacock. I'll pay for Peacock. I think we had to we had to get Peacock for The Office. Something. No, we don't watch The Office. We watch something on it. Out of all know. the shows y'all watch on repeat, y'all don't yeah, watch The Office? Office. I've I've watched I've seen pieces of it and watched some of it. Um, but I've never like watched the entirety of The Office. I know. I know. All the stuff we never we've never watched The Office. Y'all make me it's sit weird. there and watch Big Bang Theory reruns and I don't get as mad about friends. But just yeah. all the stupid like sitcoms y'all make us watch and y'all never seen The Office. Like y'all could put The Office on and I wouldn't complain. Yeah, true. Uh um, we're think, currently doing a I think y'all put on the Disney Adult YouTube channels just because you know it pisses me off. Sometimes. Yeah. Because I walk <laughs> no, in there really, and it's like I want to punch all of you off. It's, it's not to piss you off. It's just mainly just something that we both will agree on to sit there and have playing. Um, yeah, dude. Y'all don't watch yeah, TV, dude. and it pisses me off. Well, we've actually been trying to like actually start it. watching more. Y'all have TV like, on. Y'all don't watch. Yeah, we've been actually trying to watch it more. Like we watched Reacher. Still haven't finished season two. We watched Suits. Um, in NCIS. We we actually sit and watch it. Um, what else? Uh, there's something else we watched recently that we actually like both had our phones down and watched the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know. I've gotten better. I, I've since we had talked about that before. I've gotten better with like, like if I turn something, if it's not Big Bang or Modern Family shit like that, like I'll <clears throat> I leave my phone down now and actually watch the watch the shit yeah. and pay the attention to the whole thing because uh yeah it's bad it's it's bad so I don't even have the TV on unless that's something I want to pay attention to right so yours is yours is completely then, different if I if I don't have the TV on at all that's when I uh sit there on Instagram reels and that's when I send you like 30 in an hour yeah, dude. It was either this, I guess it was this past week. I hadn't been on Instagram very much. And like I looked up one day and uh, it just has, you know, it just says four plus. Yeah. And I got on there and it just all of a sudden shot me up the page. And the little mm -hmm. scroll bar to the right was like a good, like almost halfway up the bar roll. I'm like, okay, I'll, um, I'll, I'll watch as many as I can. And then I lost sometimes track the, of where um, I was. And, sometimes the algorithm be hitting on. Dude, some days you get on some weird kicks. My algorithm knows it just takes one. I don't know why we're not getting into that, dude. But what? Without sometimes my deep algorithm into, goes. Like, I can. I can deep tell, conspiracy like, I can, theories. Like I can tell what moods you are by the by the real packets. <laughs> by the real. Oh, packets it's always I get. angry with the government. That's just oh no no ninety percent of it is, but like I can like tell like which way you're like. Like how you are you deep like fuck everything mood or like oh man this is funny shit or uh, ah this is just this is just it like I 
I can keep up with your mood half the time. It's just the when the, I love when they point out the hypocrisy of everybody. Oh, so. dude, those are the those are the best. Both. And sides. if I, I just... if I ever get on here and start saying some hypocritical cool stuff, make reels out of me. I don't care. Yeah, because it's just it's getting bad and it's getting worse from everyone. And yeah, it ain't stopping. And you know, during soon, tax so. season, it just gets worse. Tax season. Oh, yeah. and elect uh, election year. So. Yeah, so like this whole like this whole year is going to be just absolute hell. Uh, I swear to God, you file your taxes wrong every year, dude. <laughs> well, because you <laughs> you tell me how much you end up owing, and then I go do yeah. mine, and then I get like a thousand dollars back every year. I'm just like, he's doing yeah. something wrong. I don't get it. <laughs> so I think I, I think we figured it out this year. So mm-hmm. when I get my comp time checks, my payouts, yeah. Those line items, they go in as a separate line item. They're not mm-hmm. just, you know how usually you just get like 80 hours and that's mm-hmm. like your pay and then you get overtime pay line. Are they not taking it comes the in as a, pay? Or are they not oh, taking no, the it tax gets, out of it? It gets taxes. It gets taxed when I get it. Yeah. But we think it gets taxed when it goes like back to the IRS. We think it gets taxed as a fucking uh, uh, bonus. Like we think it's getting taxed more because oh, it, it, I, only get it, I only get it every quarter. Mm-hmm. So... That's finally that's stopped. So I mean, we won't know till next year, but yeah. we'll find out if that did it or if I just or if we got uh, put into Screw. a weird tax bracket that because yeah. we we're on that fringe line of depending on what I make in a year, we can we sometimes get bumped into the next uh, tax bracket and it can that fucks us fucks us over too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I just found out apparently now that my office doesn't actually have an office in Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, and we technically work from home. Yeah. Not really, but. Uh, oh, right. We no longer have to pay Birmingham uh, tax. Oh, you don't have to pay city tax? Mm-mm. For Birmingham. Oh, really? I'm uh, sure Hoover still takes their chunk out, but. Oh, I'm sure. Since if you but, claim your house, they're taking. They're going to take yeah. a chunk from you there, but so, but yeah, no, that was, yeah. The, all the nights I was supposed to be reading, I was having to go finish taxes because I closed an IRA to open a Roth IRA. Right. And Acorns only allows you to have one IRA open at a time. So I couldn't which just is, transfer it. Which is odd. I don't which know is, why you yeah, couldn't dumb. just. I almost yeah. went, well, then I'm not going to have one with y'all. Then. <laughs> but. <laughs> Now care. the acorn one, is that the one that you put in uh like part of your paycheck or is that the one that it rounds up acorns like every has, dollar you spend um, or something? Acorns rounds up every purchase you make. But okay. that goes into like a just a regular investment account. So like ah, the stock market. Gotcha. And then they invest it for you. Uh that but then they have options uh for retirement plans and stuff. And yeah. I don't have it, but you could like open up uh a uh, college fund or just a fund for your kid mm. um, and put it in. And then like that has like a option for like $5 every Monday or $10 every Monday or something like that. Yeah. I think um, Bailey's aunt and uncle talked to us about that. And um, mm. then her dad did. And uh, we set that up for him. Yeah. And uh, everybody said like at Christmas, like birthdays and Christmas, they'll just give us like 50 bucks. And we'll put mm. in that account, and that's yeah. it'll just grow with him. Mm. So, um, now from what I've, I've heard, the best thing is those college funds that, like, if your kid ends up not wanting to go to college, it just goes right back to you. Well, see, this I think what I understand with this acorn thing is like you can save it for college, but mm. it's not earmarked for college. Like, the idea yeah. is to save it for college, but. It's not like, I think when I was growing up, mom and dad always talk about there was something like in the mid 90s, like when you and I were born, mm-hmm. that parents were putting money into that was a straight up like college help me fund. Mm-hmm. And they didn't get into it or they didn't get into it quick enough. And luckily they didn't because like five years later, it completely crashed and everybody lost like 60% Damn. of their money. Fuck. But um, like, like enough people got their money, like they got enough money back that everybody just kind of just said okay fine we got something back it wasn't everything where mm-hmm. like you know how like most like hedge funds fuckers take everything and you never see another penny again yeah uh i don't remember what it was it was weird mom and dad always talked about it and 
so they've always been skeptical, but yeah. you know the two of them. They're skeptical. Skept- yeah. They can be very skeptical of stuff. Yeah. Though, they did get, uh, uh, they upgraded their internet to uh, test, uh, what's his name's uh, Starlink system. Oh, they got the uh, Starlink. Elon yeah. Musk? Yeah, Elon Musk. Is that, Starlink system. I literally just heard about that this week because I heard some people can get on your boat and get like Wi Fi out at sea. Yeah, so apparently he shot up all these uh, satellites. It's satellite mm-hmm. internet. But instead of it being like HughesNet, the way I understand it, like HughesNet puts the satellites like, say, 40 miles in the air. Mm-hmm. They're high orbital satellites. So, yeah. like, clouds affect them more and like distance mm-hmm. so they're not they they fluctuate elon's is like right in orbital like right as you escape earth's gravity like it holds it like right over like say 15 miles above and it's supposed to be more reliable because it's easier it's not affected by distance and other problems so it's still mm-hmm. it's still a satellite internet but not yeah. as like temperamental apparently and of course, it's like any other internet, you can buy levels to it. Mm. You buy cheap and see how it goes, or you can buy the most expensive and get 500 gigs of download speed. So, well, I tell you right now, if fucking Spectrum keeps going up on my bill, something's going to happen. Dude, we, we, our bill went up, and you know my complaints about our like internet going out and everything going out. Like, yeah. I am, and apparently, I'm not, we're not the only ones. So, people that live near us and coworkers, like they're like, yeah, we've got spectrum and it'll just die. Like we'll just lose mm-hmm. it for like four or five days and no Come one says man. anything to us. Yeah. One guy, he lives kind of, he's not, I mean, he's in the subdivision, but it's not like on the main road and shit, but yeah, he mm-hmm. lost it for four days. And so in spot of uh, spectrum was like, Oh yeah, we're sorry. We had a delay or a fix and we just couldn't get it going. Oh um, Yeah. Maybe it's because I live in Hoover, but they fucking text me every time mine goes out. Really? No, we had it bad where we were losing it a lot. And come to find out, the person before me had a splitter run into the guest bedroom. Yeah. And so I don't like, I don't, why would you split your internet? And uh, he's like, I don't know, but I took the splitter out and I haven't had a problem since. Really? Because it was literally cutting my... I guess yeah, flow was... of internet in half and then one was literally going to nothing and so they just cut that off and haven't had a problem since cool. other than them just raising my bill every six months yeah see my thing with that like that splitter thing I remember them putting my internet <clears throat> mine in and I'm like well could you run it to the below the TV and I'll just hardwire hmm. the TV and the and the PlayStation yeah. I'll just hardwire them straight in he goes hmm. well yeah I mean the where you have your box like that's taking all of it but if you also send it over here that'll split it and i'm like but it's the but it's just in it's the same energy coming in the room and he tried to explain it Uh, but i think it's a cop out so they don't have to do shit but then you said yours is split and you said it's not good yeah um so i'm just like so you're telling me all these people who have like big you like big twitch channels and all that who i yeah. know have it wired in he's like yeah. you're telling me they got two i guess two modems or two, however two the modem. fuck that works yeah yeah so they got two modems and four watt like they they got it hardwired in the house yeah. four times and it's working fine yeah i don't know but because you know those sons of bitches gotta have fucking yeah i'm sure they a 500 gigabyte download upload speed mm-hmm. Then once they're, if they're not Crazy on their actually. computers, they're on their phones and got TVs running, got four computers mm. going. I mean, that that shit's got to be insane. Yeah. But oh, I'd hate to see their internet bill. I'm sure it's. I'm sure they've gotten to the point where I mean, whatever they're making off of Twitch and stream is offsetting it. But yeah, you know how hard it is to fucking. How many well, yeah. Twitch streamers we know? Like maybe five. Oh, oh, yeah, just like, just completely, yeah. yeah. Not personally, but yeah, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, we don't know yeah, anyone personally. personally. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, no. Um, but no. Uh, yeah, I guess that's enough adult life talk. Um, <laughs> we, get, we did read a comic book. Um, we did continue. Um, 
I guess we should also address we're not doing <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man this month. Ah, just push, um, push it down the road. Push it down. That did get pushed back again. We're gonna finish up Manifest <laughs> Destiny. So we'll get at least two more months. So it'll be April, May, maybe June. We can start it. I thought there were ten volumes of Manifest Destiny. Just eight. There's just eight. Oh, okay. Well, that's not near as bad yeah, as I thought. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Which, when, when we get to that, with there only being two more volumes left, they mm. we'll get there. But there's some interesting things that's got to happen in the next two volumes. Yeah, but we'll save that for the two episodes Third. from now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this week we read, uh, I didn't, I messed up, which probably would have helped our video last time. I didn't realize it was now called Superman action comics. I thought it was just still yeah. called action comics. So yeah, that would have helped our algorithm that. a lot more if I would have known that. I'm sure. Yeah. But, um, it's, uh, I think it's actually, it is the war world saga volume two, but I think it's actually called Superman action comics, the arena. Yeah. Which out of the three yeah. that is in this section is the only one that doesn't have War World in it. So I'm just like, yeah, that's not gonna help my it's a, Well, and and the way they had it, especially when like I was like looking for this volume because the mm. other one like I could look up specifically like War World and it brought yeah. me the volume one. And I forgot and what I the next type called, it but it has search. something with War World. Yeah, I typed in. I just type it in the search bar and Action Comics, and it gave me like fifteen different volumes. I'm like. Wait, hold on. Something's not right. Like, hi, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not in the right zone. And yeah. so then I just ended up going to the Kindle and put me in where I need to go. So. Mm. So. But yeah, uh, so we'll get go through our credits here. Yeah, we've got a writer, Philip Kennedy Johnson, artist, artists, Ricardo Federici, Miguel Men Mendo Mendaka Mendanka. Uh, Daniel Sam Samper, Dale Eagles Eaglesham, and Will Conrad. Colorist Lee Lowridge and Adriano Lucas. Letterer Dave Sharp and collection cover artist Daniel Samper and El Alejandro Sanchez. And again, apologies for any butchered names yeah. that aren't backwoods Southern. So, um, one first off, uh, I didn't I'm realize. Go ahead Hold on. No, first off, I'm going to go ahead and say, um, officially, any other side issues that are put into the back of books that don't have to do with the main story, I'm out on. This Dude. and next week, I'm just like, no, fuck that. I'm not. You put it at the end because you know it has nothing to do with this, and I'm not yeah. just going to read it. I'm not going to read it. Nope. Now I was going to say next week. Next week I read them because I was enthralled with the story. Like I, I like I was, I was I was happy enough with the story that I, I the read. Big Martian this week? Manhunter one at the end. Oh, okay. No, or no, no, no that was no, this one. That Manhunter. was this one. Never mind. No. Yeah, at the end there was, uh, <clears throat> at least the one I read. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there was some... a, at the very end there was a chunk of. Oh Martian yeah, Manhunter. yeah, 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 yeah. There's a whole fucking Martian Manhunter. Yeah, no, I scrolled yeah. that. I was like, this has I was nothing. Like, I'm not there, reading that shit. He was fighting the Court of Owls, and mm. like we, the Vulture, a new Vulture showed up. I was just like, I forget what cat. the one for next point was, but it was like two uh, issues. It was there just was like, Tales from the Kingdom, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know was, this uh, character. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, one of them was uh, the kids young going after an orphanage oh, thing, yeah, and then a, and then another one was they were at a masquerade ball, and you get introduced to the Robins. Nope, don't care. But it wasn't enough. It was, I read them just because I had time, and yeah. I was just like, "This doesn't make fuck." Like, why are we reading? Who this? cares? Like, y'all threw yeah. this in here so he could finish the real story. Yeah, like the entire Martian Manhunter. I'm just thumbing it. It was an entire. It was three vol, three issues, yeah. full length comics thrown mm. into the back of this. Yeah, I'm out on those. Oh, oh, and apparently a Tales of Metropolis. He's a gold guy. With a shield. Yeah, I told you, you that scared was people. Gold. Usually. I was like, it doesn't look like Booster Gold. No, they called him something else. No. Either way, I didn't. Remember. I was just like, I was just like, wait a minute. Hell, there was one. There was one comic in here, um, that I almost thought was a. Uh, oh yeah, it was um, I think issue four. Oh, it's when you get to get the off-brand Batman. His oh, comic. Midnighter. Midnight, yeah, Midnight, but that was Midnighter's Tale. 
it, it was, was, it was him part of gathering it. the resistance. Yeah, and the only reason I kept reading it was also because of the fact, like, it was in this comic, it was page one seventeen of two nineteen. Yeah. I'm like, exactly. Like, See, oh, okay, this has to be. In, like, they put it in order, it so yeah. they obviously care about it. I was like, okay, this has to be a part of it. So I was just mm-hmm. like, God dang, how many? More, how fucking long is this? But no, then, then you I hit was, like, I got to the, you hit like one fifty, one sixty, and then yeah. it's just like, here's fifty pages of nonsense. Yeah. I was just like, wait a minute, what is? I don't know, man. I, I get, I get they need to add stuff to help, mm-hmm. like get rid of or get your attention on some comics, but yeah. throwing the Martian Manhunter into this made no fucking While sense. While it's not actually relating to War World, <laughs> yeah, like not even at the end. Like I was like, oh well, at the end of him fighting Court Owls, it's gonna be like a mm-hmm. message from Superman or from the yeah. from the uh, that council that was watching Superman get his ass beat. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like, hey, man, we, we know you're an alien and, like, can you come help him and all this shit and nothing. It was just, I was just like, okay, well, that, I'm glad I didn't waste the hour mm-hmm. to read that. Yeah. Um, But as far as the main story, still pretty fucking good. Oh, yeah, this is, this is good. Um, I really Superman enjoyed. Superman got his ass kicked. Dude, he got his ass kicked. And you know we've had that complaint before. It's like, or we've talked about. It. I don't know if we've complained about it, but it's like, how do you make Superman relatable? How do you yeah. make him like he's an unbeatable god? Mm. And this is like, you well, find out, out that just radiation sickness and yeah, make the Mogul, planet uh, radiate also radiate red sun, red yeah, red sun energy, and that just makes my him thing more, was like, though, he's still he's still he's still powerful. Like he's still. Yeah. Like, but he can now be cut and like damaged and mm. bleed. But like he he still isn't getting like killed immediately. Yeah, I don't know if you read like the introductions at the beginning of this though. It had like a yeah. character sheet of like a small because they're like no one knows the authority, so we might as well tell them. No, uh, Apollo has the power of the sun. I'm assuming yeah. it was a mm-hmm. yellow sun. So mm-hmm. why shouldn't he just be like holding Superman's hand the entire time? That's the only okay. It's the only thing I kicked up against. Okay, so when they land, mm-hmm. they make this... Hold on, where was it? It was either early or... Oh, and we still don't know who the hooded figure is, right? No. Okay. I imagine that's the next. I, I would assume. he's gonna probably, um, I assume he's going to beat the shit out of Mongol and be like, all right, boom, done. Everybody's yeah, because free. he's, he's learning. And then be like, ba 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 yeah, and he's, that guy's learning, he's learning somewhere. how to fight. Uh, and what's cool <laughs> like is like you get fighter. to see like, like they tell him like, you think you can just use your body to block? You can't do that yeah. anymore. You need a weapon. You need a can shield. Man, handle you your to, way through everybody. You need armor. Like, yes, yeah. you're still powerful, but you've got to fucking do your shit. Mm-hmm. Um, no, Manchester Black, the dude with purple hair. Yeah, uh, kind of looks like a knockoff Constantine. Mm-hmm. Uh, he makes a comment at some point, which I don't know what happened to him. Once the battle happened, he disappeared. Uh, they made uh, it sound like that one telepath dude kind of fucked Oh, the one up. that's got the that triangle thing? Yeah, the orphan yeah, bots one of the, or whatever. Uh, orphan bots. He makes a comment saying, like, he was making the illusion that he was keeping Superman look young, where, you know, Superman gets his gray band of hair. Yeah, he which said it was I him, and then, like, Enchantress oh. was helping him. Yeah, and I bet you Apollo was there I would, to give him the. I would the hope someone with the energy. power of the sun would help. Yeah. Superman heal. Like, like they they didn't they didn't make it like they didn't make yeah. it like out front knowledge, but I assume mm-hmm. like yes that that was yeah. his whole point of being there, mm-hmm. and it kind of makes a good reason like why did Superman pick this team? And it's like because the Justice a bunch League of turned fuck. him down. Well, yes, the Justice League turned him down, but then they also turned it into these got these. These other heroes are also yeah. like keeping me look mm. me, like keeping me yeah. look like I am mm. the goat. The goat. Um, I'm just thumbing through. Yeah, Apollo, I think, was literally like the first one to fall in the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apollo's like Is the first like one to get. Well, he got hit by the like witch looking. Oh, mother, woman, or whatever they called it. Yeah, the mother. Yeah, yeah. That looks like I thought. 
I knew it wasn't going to happen, but it looks like what the, um, the dark Knights of steel did with the Joker, that new Joker that came out. Um, Oh, you mean metal death, death metal? The Joker death who metal. laughs. Yeah. That, yeah. The Joker who laughs. It, it's got that look to it. I knew it wasn't going to be him, but yeah, cause this came out way before that, but, mm-hmm. uh, of course you have the big fight scene, all that shit. Uh, and then, then it's pretty much just go to jail for the yeah. rest of the episode. I really enjoyed the uh, the psychology of War World, of like everybody's worth is literally there in their chains. Yeah, and it's like when you get there, you first start off like that, and the more battles yep. you win, and then also it doesn't. Or I think what Superman was trying to tell him is like, no, your body carrying that weight all the time. Uh, weakens you. They're like, no, it makes us stronger. Which, right? Yes, and kind of. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, you yes, working with more chain, you will be stronger. Yeah. But at the same time, at the same time, because, you're gonna be exhausted the entire time. Yeah, but the only way you get stronger is then once you remove the chains, then yeah. you are now you are mm. then physically the better. But yeah. having them, you're still an enslaved and mm. and a and a one of the masses. Of- yeah. But then it's just like, and then your entire, like, uh, your spot in, like, the food chain or whatever is just there for everybody to see. And yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't want that it's, to it's be, a like, higher... our universe. But as, like, yeah, as a storytelling mechanic, that's kind of fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, because it, it gives you, like, a class system without there mm-hmm. being, like, yes, everybody's in jail. Everybody's yeah. in prison together. But... You've got five more chains than I do. You're better than me. You are. Yeah. You're upper. You're you're in the next level mm. before I. And am. it psychologically just fucks with the people because then it's like you have the like initial stages of like fuck this. I'm not doing all this shit. But eventually yeah. you will break. You will lose hope. And then you realize, oh, I better start fucking winning some fights and get my chain longer so I can hopefully yeah. live better around here. It's a uh, Omac. Omac kind of. Yeah. She. He, yeah, you, she. He. 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 They broke. Whatever. I. Yeah, they called whatever. him. They called him he multiple times. Yeah. Even though I thought uh, it was a she at the beginning. Light Ray, the air quote speedster that they had yeah. on the team, uh, dies in the initial battle. Yeah. And uh, Omac pretty much is like, that's all I was here for was to protect mm. her and. No. Yeah. Yes, fight for Superman. Well, Superman lost. She's dead. It's like, I ain't got... There's nothing else to fight for, so why not? Yeah. Why not beat the shit out of people? Mm. And then the... Uh, the tech guy? I don't... I wish they would have given us those... Uh, character names. Uh, you know, in the first little bit. Yeah. Uh, with the, the orphan guy? box. Yeah, yeah, the bag. Oh, it yeah. has the orphan um, box. They gave him a name. They said his name. They I don't remember what it was. Either way. Uh, it's Fuck just face. like, yeah, cho- choose me and uh, you we You can, can have, we can bring her back and you can have all the power, all you mm. need. And it's like, okay, well, there she goes. She's gone. Mm. Oh, teacher. They named the teacher. Yeah. Teacher, teacher, mother, orphan, darling. And the unmade. Yeah. I don't know. That... Yeah. There was a, it looked so like a knockoff Thanos team. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it really did. It really did. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Straight up knockoff. Um, um, but yeah, no, it's <laughs> fun. And then you have Midnighter in the background building the revolution. Yeah. Uh, mainly to try to save Apollo, but they all think they're doing it to help Superman. Correct. Uh, and then Superman's learning how to fight, and eventually he's like, "All right, I guess we're doing this revolution, whether we like it or not." Yeah. So. Now he did touch some cave burial site that had the yeah. the mother box energy. They don't call it mother box though, it's but that's pretty much what it box. is, right? Yeah, but that's Kinda. the same. They call it orphan. It's box, the same so. energy. It's the same energy, right? I don't. Maybe. Either way. We can pretend. I don't think that is. He touches the wall that has that energy and it gives him a little boost and Mm. uh, it it 
That's what allowed also him what to gave hear. that one lady from Volume One put her in a coma or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Which of course he gave to um, one of the girls' dads that's on the team yeah. with him. Mm-hmm. Damn it! It's the it's the driving. Uh, where's she at? You're talking about Steel. Steel. Yeah. Yeah. Natasha Iron. Natasha Iron. John Henry yeah. Irons. Mm-hmm. Which John Henry's based off of the the old slave driving iron worker yeah on that the railroad tried to beat the train yeah railroad that tried to beat the yeah. train mm-hmm. beat the train died you know he beat the train you know steel actually had a movie i'm sorry steel the john, john, john henry, henry steel steel had a movie in the 90s no i had Maybe no 2000s. idea Shaq played him holy shit all right um yeah never knew that and mm-hmm. kind of shocked I didn't because I thought I knew the movie Shaq or like you always hear that like the funny Shaq movies and figured I would have heard that one before. I don't think it was very good, but that was well, I mean, the movies he he led were not very good in their own. Here, so I'll look it up. Yeah, um, uh, I remember. I think I watched it on TV one time. Oh God! Like when I was a kid. This this group that's watching Superman that apparently has eyes everywhere that can just see the battles happening. What what the hell is this? Is it some sort of like Guardians Judicial Committee or some shit? They said they were like the United Planets Committee or something. Okay. I've just never, I mean, again, we've never really been in the new Superman world or DC world and just had no idea who these, yeah, who these folks still. were. Shaquille O'Neal, 1997. Jeez. Um, I was... But this short, what year? 1997. I was You were three. three. You were three. Yeah. And I was two. Um, But this Lord... Lord Premier... Yeah, that dude. Aura. What's going on with that guy? Like, he's apparently, like, the leader, but as soon as he heard the Praetorian... It's not Praetorian. I, I can't. The, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm calling. I'm saying the Felosians. Yeah, it sounded as soon as he as as soon as he heard that name. I mean, he damn near killed the guy that the messenger. I mean, yeah, he went from like, oh, this guy's peaceful guy. And yeah, then, like, peaceful little just. He almost burned down this like forest that he was writing about yeah. how beautiful was. It's like a national treasure to their planet. Yeah, this is like um, okay, not sure what was happening there. Yeah, uh, which again. I mean, we only got one volume left. I don't know mm-hmm. if they're going to reveal I, that or not. They'll definitely flush that out. They put way too much time into it to not. Yeah, true. So yeah. at the beginning when they land, I was just thumbing through and I found it. So when Superman lands, they got all of the Felosian. Like they said, oh, yeah, we ring the road for you to, to yeah. Mongol, Mongol. And in the volume one, I thought there was only like 40 or 50 that got out. So they made it sound escaped. like and it's a 40, then, you, then you read at the end, it's like, yeah, 40,000. It's like, yeah, all because okay. they believed one scientist. Yeah, 40,000, 3,400 years ago. I'm like, yeah. so that's how you have so many yeah. uh, Felosians running around. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But at the same time, you've never had another Superman show up somewhere. So maybe yeah, that I, caught. I got caught along the way. I never saw a yellow sun. I guess, but you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. it's like, I get like, I know in all of Superman, you've got Zod and all those that, that have come out. It's like for the last Kryptonian, he's not really the last. Is he's he? not the last. He's not. No. That, that, that's where I'm getting. It's like, he is nowhere mm. near the last Kryptonian as he no. makes it as, as all the years you're like, Oh yeah, he's, He's it. He's the last of his race. And then all of a sudden there's a dog and then there's his cousin, Supergirl. And yeah. now there's, then there's Zod and all his crew. Now there's these Felotians that are from his planet that escaped earlier. And it's like, there was 40,000 of them 3,400 years ago. Yeah. So you got to think they've probably tripled their population in the last three millennia. Well, now there are a lot so, of them are dead. So. Well, now a lot of them are dead, but yeah. But prior to being dead by War World, mm-hmm. you know what yeah. I mean. It's like nobody got away. Yeah. 
Um, no, it was good. Oh, wasn't uh, there a little? It wasn't there a little uh, city that Superman used to have for a long time. Yeah, that was a part of that was a part of. The... I remember them making always making a big deal about it. he had that little city, and I can't remember. I think if they it was were something Brainiac shrunk, and he always promised if he ever found a way to like get it right, he would. Uh, I don't that think, was be their I don't world. know if they were Kryptonian or not though. I don't remember. But I just remember yeah, he's just always had that with him for yeah. the longest time. I think they finally got rid of it. But <clears throat> that sucks. My, okay. my Superman knowledge, huh? I mean that would suck if you're in the little city. <laughs> well yeah, but I mean I think like they wrote it like the comics like wrote it uh, out like, oh okay, okay, well this was a failed experiment kind of thing. Yeah. But like thousands of people died. You know, yeah. But for Superman to like be like the most iconic, like there really is a lot of, there's a lot of history of Superman that we just, I guess, just don't really. There's a lot know. of. It was started in the 30s. It's almost 100 years old. Do you think there's not some weird right. shit? Oh no, there's definitely some weird shit. Yeah. But I think like our our trope or the trope of Superman is like, oh well, he's unbeatable. He's undefeated. It's like it's kind of turned both of us off of, of like reading Superman exclusive comics. Well, yeah, no one likes perfect. Of characters, unless right. his name is Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher. God, I don't, that, that, season two, that, they give him. Uh, he's not as like perfect. He doesn't just walk well, through a town and they 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 need yeah. to they they knock. But season two is very good. So. Cool. Um, I was, I saw I got I found this new uh well it's not new, but it's called Tubi. It's free. You just put in your uh-huh. email. I'm sure they're fishing. 90% of my data off my phone. No. Uh, but they've got Blue Mountain State on there. And it's no, it doesn't cost anything. And that so was I on Amazon turning. Prime for a while, wasn't it? Is it not still uh, on there? Yeah, I don't know if it's still on there or not. Uh-huh. I didn't look. I just I was playing around because I wanted to watch Spartacus uh-huh. and uh, the stars. And you can't watch unless you have stars. And apparently mm-hmm. this had it. So I got on there and I was just thumbing around with all they had. And I saw Blue Mountain State. I'm like... I'll turn that on. So I've been watching that hotel rooms again, dude. That sh- that show is god almighty. Mm. It's so Spike bad. TV man, what a Spike we miss TV. you. Golly, what else was on? I mean, that's the that's like the only one I really it used remember. Used to be the home of TNA wrestling. Yeah, was that where uh, uh, the man show uh, guy code? No, that was on MTV. MTV. MTV two. Uh, yeah. that was the Man Show, and then uh, a thousand ways to die. Uh, That's one, yeah, a thousand ways to die. Uh, the Ultimate Fighter used to be which on one there. Was Man- which one was which one was Mansers? It was like uh, these I thought that guys rode guy in, could. and they no Mansers was like, hey, don't wear polyester underwear; it fucks with your dick size. And then uh, uh, how to get out of the two I remember most was like. Here's this shit that makes your dick not work. Don't wear polyester underwear. Um, and then another one is like how to get out of a uh, the blow test for a DUI. Oh, like, oh yeah. yeah, you uh, pennies, gum, copper. Yeah, they're like, like no, that works. Copper, your but... best. Uh... I don't know how they said to get out of it. I know they did. There was another one. It was like the best way to avoid like the drug dogs. And it was like hide your drugs in, uh, oh, uh, like meat. uh, yeah, in meat, and then yeah, make sandwich it, meat or put grocery, it in like a like grocery store. Yeah, I think he's yeah. going for that. But uh, yeah, that um, there was a show. It was like how to survive natural disasters and shit. That was cool. I don't remember that one. Mm-hmm. And I think it was a lot of cops. Well, yeah. See, I yeah. remember. Oh, you mean like uh, the cops? Like uh, the show Live cops. PD and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because I always get Spike TV and MTV, like the guy code, like all your weird shit shows. MTV Not too. your music and all that. Yeah. I always get those two confused because I always thought they were the same thing. No. Because on Dish, I think they were literally like side oh, by they were side like on right channels. Next to each other, yeah. Yeah. So I think like I was always like, if I went, I was just like scrolling, 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 guy code, go. And like I just associate it with. MTV. No. Well, yes, Guy Code's MTV, but no. even the other stuff. Because you think about some people that were on that shit. show, like they're like famous comedians. Guy now. Code. Yeah. 
dude. I always remember like there was Andrew a big Schultz, dude, the big Chris De Stefano. Was that the big? Was that the big white dude? No, uh, I forgot. Oh, forgot the his big name. white dude. He uh, he's also a comedian. I though. remember he did some stuff. He did some stuff like while Acting. that was going on, and I never saw no. him again. Um, Charlemagne uh, the God, the DJ Charlemagne. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Are yeah, man, that show had some guy code now. Yeah. That that show had some pretty good characters on it. Andrew, oh yeah, you said Andrew so Schultz, Don, Krista uh, Stefano, Dan Soder. Oh, Dan Soder, yeah. Uh, he's very fucking funny. Charlotte, he's got a special Wyatt, on. Uh, yeah. Huh. That that big dude is Wyatt Cuther. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I I don't either. He had some weird shit. No. Yeah. Ooh, had some really fucked up movies. Huh, either yeah. way. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for the arena. It's action comic woo-hoo. Superman. Uh, we'll probably uh, just go ahead and knock out the third volume next month. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and finish yeah. it. I mean, it's 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 there as long as we don't got to read the. I mean, we have the forty, the fifty extra pages in the back. Yeah, we have uh five episodes next month anyway. So for April, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Just trying to think, was there any? It wasn't really anything else. I mean, they were that revolution, and yeah, mm. I was just dumb. I was, yeah, that was about all there was. Yeah, he's Davis is gonna go look up old episodes of Guy Code after this. That's what he's thinking about. Yeah. Um. So, personal recommendation. Uh, do you yep. have one? Okay. Yep. Well, you can go. Then. Uh. So, <clears throat> we've both watched the F one Drive to Survive, uh, Netflix series. Uh, one episode six, season six just came out at the end of February. Mm-hmm. Uh, they now have a new s- Drive to Survive esque series going on called NASCAR Full Speed, and it's literally the last like fifteen races of the past season, and it's the same idea but just from the NASCAR they're literally point just of view. doing that with every sport. Now. Yeah, yeah, the, they've now done it. They're gonna do it with baseball next year. They're doing it. Uh, yeah. they've already done it with golf. Uh, I saw they did something it with else. Tennis. Uh, tennis, yeah, I'm not watching that shit. I, I hate tennis. Um, it wasn't the same company. I think it's some of the producers also got with Peyton Manning. They did a Netflix did quarterback or whatever it is. Oh, okay. And, and somehow made Patrick. Mo- you watch? We watched a couple episodes of your. Oh, house. oh. Um, yeah, somehow I made that's. I forgot that was. Make uh, Peyton Kirk Manning was likable and made <laughs> Patrick Mahomes unlikable. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, huh? Yeah, okay. Made- Swap swap the narratives on both of those, and yeah. then uh uh Montoya not Montoya uh um, the third Mariota. quarterback Mariota Marcus was just Mariota. there for they he, just needed he a literally third was just there. we watched Marcus Mariota yeah. lose his starting job yeah yeah lo- lose his career in the NFL <laughs> I think he's still a backup somewhere is he oh yeah well, still either way uh but no if if you enjoy drives five Dude, or Marcus even like NASCAR or any of that shit it, it's Marcus NASCAR, Mariota. It's, one of the Heismans we never got to play with uh, on NCAA. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And speaking of NCAA, comes out this year. Yep. Very excited. I'm, just, I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting so hyped that it's gonna be. It's gonna be as bad as Madden. I'm, Could you I'm, imagine I'm, being one of those losers that opted out because he didn't think six hundred dollars was enough? Dude, when I read that, I was like, man, six hundred dollars doesn't seem like a lot, but my ass is first in line. <laughs> Bro, first off, like my. I think Dude, we've gotten 11, to the generation now, that never got now. to play it. Yeah. And then second off, like, dude, there's so we're talking 134 teams. They're going to pay every player they, on there. They said 11, it was over 11,000 D1 football players. Yeah. Could they sign can't up, afford to give everybody whatever. So no. yeah, $600 and you get a copy of the game for free. Fucking yeah. take that. It, it, I mean, dude, it's an easy. It's there's literally like a just, list of maybe like ten players who probably deserve more, and that's it. Oh well, yeah, I mean, and that's your probably your first ten picks this year. But other than that, I mean, it's it's well, nothing. I mean, so they'll get paid regardless. Um, yeah, I'm talking about oh, kids shit, that are 11. in college. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. like Dion's kids probably. So, uh, so put it this way: like if three you, quarterbacks, every single. If every single player mm-hmm. opted into this, that would be six point six million dollars. EA Sports 
has to pay out to to all the players and the copies of okay, the Okay, maybe they should be getting more. <laughs> <laughs> and and a copy of the game. So add, so add another 50 okay. bucks on top of that. So, uh, 50 bucks. Them bitches are $70 yeah. now. Okay, 70 bucks. So 600 um, so let's do 670. that. 670 times 11,000. 7.3 million dollars. Okay, maybe they should get paid more because <laughs> I don't know if you know how much EA Sports like, makes off of Ultimate Team. Oh, and now I, they're I about to get a, I, the ultimate they, team get, for FIFA literally quadruples their budget on a yearly basis. Jesus Christ. Now, yeah. I will say like they're going to have they don't like, feel the pressure biggest to make sale. good games. No. See, my problem is, is like I, I saw the 600. I'm like, that's not like, yes, we would opt into that. Yeah. We wouldn't have gotten offered it as a college kid. Definitely. Uh, yeah. But 600, I was like, man, that seems low. It's like a cool thousand, like $1,000 yeah. seems like that would have been an easy, like, like, yeah. why aren't we doing this? Um, well, when you, I mean, they would end when up it having didn't to pay hit like, the, when you did the math and it didn't hit double digit millions, I was just like, okay, yeah. they probably deserve more. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe throw, honestly, maybe like, in another the free copy of the game was what I was there for. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, but, but uh, no, uh, but I mean, like, see, Bailey, they make so Bailey's much money off of about... FIFA Ultimate Team, then they have Madden Ultimate Team, and now they're about yeah. to have College Football Ultimate Team. Yeah, which is like, was what do you mean Ultimate Team? Ultimate Team is like this. Okay, uh, I got confused. It did. So Madden and FIFA always had it, and then the last game of NCAA, they finally put it in. Ultimate Team okay. is like you play a team online. But you open up packs like they're sports cards. Oh, and oh, you play oh, with the players gotcha. you get out of the packs. But you have to gotcha. buy the packs with actual money. And Correct. you can, gotcha. if you grind the game, you can earn free packs and shit like that. Yeah, but, but if you really want to, people want to jump in. in like, yeah, no, I want it the best team possible. I'm gonna go it, fucking to, spend a million dollars. Yeah, pay to play. Um, yeah. but it's made so much money for between FIFA and Madden that EA really doesn't even have to try to make good games anymore. Correct. And that's what so. I'm so scared. It's like, I'm so scared when this game comes out. It's like, yeah, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. I'm going to pay the seven. I'm going to pay the oh, 70 yeah. fucking dollars for it. For sure. But, but at the same time, it's like, if this I, is bad, it's like, okay, I, I, I bought, I bought my one copy. I'll probably not, I won't buy another one. I mean, I'm not getting rid of NCAA 14 because we know it's good. So. Oh no. Right. Um, but talking about like these kids, these guys that are getting the free copy or could get the free copy. Yeah. Bailey's little brother just turned 21. He played, he didn't play up until the last two years of the NCAA. Really? So the, so like the 13 and 14, that was the last two. That was the first two and only two he ever played. So he doesn't know, like you and I started yeah. with like, I think mine was a. Dude, my dad 05, had a PlayStation was, 2. 05 was my first one. Yeah, I think it was like oh five oh six, and had Road to Heisman or whatever. Dude, the Road shit to the Heisman, crazy. holy shit! Yeah. That and um, my my first one was whatever Reggie Bush was like in the game. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I would have so to be like been like oh, five. Yeah, and um, dude, holy shit, that was the most fun. And then you could create your trophy cases. You could get all the cheat. Remember getting the cheat codes? You play the mm -hmm. little mini games yeah. to get all the cheat codes. Start the game off with twenty points and first and four or first yeah. and five. <laughs> no, uh, and they better not stop with football either. March Madness is too much fun to not have a college basketball game. Oh, dude, dude! If if this works, they could. They, I would definitely see them making a college basketball game. Mm -hmm. and I don't see why they wouldn't. Low key, one of the most fun baseball games ever was uh, EA Sports two thousand five. I guess it was like MVP college baseball or something. Ed Texas yeah. on the cover, but it was, really? oh my, we used to me, my dad, my brother, every summer, used to just play the shit out of that on PlayStation two. I don't, college I don't remember baseball. a baseball one. Jeez. I mean, evidently didn't do well. It didn't last very well, long. Right. Yeah. But the couple they had, it was very good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We'll, we'll yeah. see. And uh, of course, I'm going to pick like the most random fucking team and see if I can't create a dynasty out of it. I usually try That's to the go. Most fun. I usually try to go for like one of the small Alabama schools, which used to just be like 
I think on the last game you had UAB, you had Troy. Troy, and South Alabama was on the last. I don't one. know if you. I don't know if UAB was even in it on the last one. Yeah, they were. That were was they? way before all that bullshit. Oh no no no! That was fourteen. Yeah, we we were going to college. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say my I had a high school teammate that graduated the same year as me that went through all that. Um, That's right. No. Uh, but now, but now we can get North do... Alabama. North Alabama. Nope. Uh, they are not Division One. We can do yes, Jacksonville State. No, nope. North Alabama's Division One. When did they get put in Division One? Uh, three years ago. Are they FCS or it... FBS? They are not FCS. <laughs> Jacksonville State is FBS. Um, football classification. N- NCAA Division One FCS. Yeah, they're Never like mind. Samford. So shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, I thought they got. I thought they got pumped up. Fuck no. you. There's five in Alabama. Alabama, Auburn, Troy, South, and UAB. Six. So six. Then yeah. Jacksonville State. Jacksonville State is now in yeah. the Sun Belt. Yeah. What's A and M and like the Montgomery, like Alabama A and M out of Montgomery? Is That's that FCS Alabama State? Team? Alabama A and M is somewhere near up you. Um, okay. Well, the two of them, I guess that's it. They're FCS. Them and Tuskegee are in. Uh, the oh no, F- no no they're in that uh HBCU well, no. yeah they're also FCS they're in the SWAC MIAC and all that gotcha so. gotcha gotcha um gotcha. but they do they always like the winner of those conferences <laughs> always opt out of the FCS playoffs so they can go play yeah. in the Heritage Bowl which is like uh, the HBCU national championship yeah yeah but also I'm just kind of right. like. But we could also. Not, it doesn't even go. Could we not move the heritage even go the game games. to go so we can also go play in the FCS championship yeah. tournament? But, but I remember because uh, like, I saw that at the beginning of this like this bowl season, and they were like, uh, like I saw the bowl playing. I was like, I can't find it on our sheet. It's like, oh yeah, this is the. And I finally like looked it up. It's the like, heritage bowl. So this isn't a bowl game, but it is a bowl game. But it's technically not a championship, a bowl game. but not really. Yeah, but not a championship. <laughs> It means a lot to like, some people, yeah. not us. Very little to others. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah. My nice personal tangent. recommendation, going <laughs> back to video games, uh, Helldivers 2 uh, Ooh, is a new game okay. that came out recently. And it is, I think they call it PvE, Players vs. Everybody. Basically, you... Earth, or what they call Super Earth, is in a war against these bu- alien bugs killing everything. But everyone that can play, and it's cross-play between PC and PlayStation right now. And, oh, uh, wow. If you go missions to like destroy bugs and stuff, but everyone as a collective is working to liberate planets. And okay. So, like... Th- Everyone who ever plays the game is also working all on this because it's all online. And they've already, like, liberated, like, four planets. The fifth one is, like, 50% liberated. And every time you lose a mission, it goes back towards the bugs. This sounds eerily like that game that uh, Skylar played. Uh, oh, kind of. You're talking about uh, like- No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Okay, but it's it's not that at all. No, no, no I know it's not that. Yeah. But it, it it seems like but it's it got isn't that same always thing. online type deal. Yeah, all online. Everybody can mm-hmm. like you can run into anybody at any time. You can kill yeah. each other. You can fight for each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, okay. All right. But yeah, I'll send you a video because it's pretty fucking cool. Even well, though I've heard about it, I heard PlayStation like, got fried. Yeah. R.I.P. We didn't even talk about that. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll save that late for later because we're about yeah, an hour. Uh. Now the Hell Divers, I re- like. I guess I saw um, Starship Troopers started getting popular again because of it. Oh really? Um, I never heard of it. You remember the movie Starship? Tro- um, the it, Earth's in the future. The capital, the Earth is now a capital planet, and they go into space and are fighting fighting aliens across the universe because they That's attacked a lot Earth of movies before Halo. Huh? 
Well, yeah, yeah, but for some reason, Star Trip. Everybody's like Star Trip, Star uh, Troop, Star Troopers is like what's uh, everybody's gravitated to because of this. Or like reminds them of that shit. Oh, never heard of it. But no, but yeah, that's fine. It's 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 not a great movie. It's a fine movie, but it's not a. It's definitely not up there on the top tier. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this week. Next week, uh, going back to Dark Knights of Steel, Volume 2. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just talk about all that fun stuff there, because that is a very fun comic. Um, yeah. See, also, oh, I called it. Um, but we'll get into that next week. <laughs> see y'all next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.